Hello guys, guys. Welcome, welcome back to Hiya. 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 Welcome back to our channel. Cheers. Cheers. Woo, here's to another vlog. I've got that like a cut on my lip that you know when you then like smile or like say something too yeah. much, it cracks every time. Is so that I'm from like smiling hi too oh. much in life, do you think? Yeah, it's just from smiling too much on holiday, I think. <laughs> just cracked my lips. <laughs> from like a good time. <laughs> no, it's actually from when I, we were literally been discussing this over the past few days. So recently we've been away to oh hello, welcome. I feel like Hi. that was a really quick transition into just a ramble no, I by that's me. Perfect. We've been to Gran Canaria recently yeah. and whenever we go to the sun <laughs> to the sun we always we just visit the sun whenever we visit the sun and it's like hi james says you're our only visitors everyone else who comes just seems to perish <laughs> but, you know my skin gets so good doesn't it yeah literally from day one of being in the sun because i have really bad eczema i'm not sure if you can see under my eyelid at the moment is quite swollen from it and just all over my arms is quite sore Yo, Mila. and i have random flare-ups at different times and pregnancy seemed to just be the best thing for ever yeah i thank you for that thank you for that um, it just went away completely and I was like, this is it, my eczema's gone, no. I'm cured. <laughs> I'm cured, it came back. But then yeah, when we went away, it's like amazing, every time I go in the yeah, sun, it clears up so much. I and I was like, oh, this is the life, it's all cleared up. Literally on the plane home, it all came back, so. It's so frustrating, isn't it? <sighs> it's very frustrating and the plane alone, like it's so dehydrating yeah. and dries, you know, everything up so There's much. There's only a four-hour flight. I know the long-haul ones yeah. are the worst when for my skin. When we used to go to the US and stuff. Oh, it? but like you said, you'd go out to the US and it'd be fun. You'd always go, you know, to Cal. Not always, but the twice we went, we went to California and Florida, and then it would clear your skin up because it would be hot. Yeah, happy and then days. The flight on the way back, you would just dry out and then be in a cold UK. I turn into a raisin, <laughs> all dried out. I start as a grape and I end as a raisin, completely dried of all my moisture. Yeah, that's just my skin. Yeah. but uh, I seem to be having like cracked lips like really kind of like swollen under eyes and everything at the moment so I'm having because we're thinking this is going to be like a week in the life room done a week in the life in ages I know just something chilled out you know mm. Monday to Friday yeah just that, that's a week that's, that's the end of that's a week that's that, a, that is that's that is a, that's a working it's, working week it's going to be our week our in week. the life so I'm thinking Let's do a week of no makeup, see if it helps the oh, under okay. eyes. But I never but feel. We are on Wednesday. It's wear oh, no makeup. Oh, we are. Right. But like, remember before Karis got ill? Oh my gosh. We were yeah. meant to be filming a yeah. video for um, a company called Boomin. We've been talking channel. about this for so long. I know, and it is actually it's been rearranged to Wednesday. Yeah. So obviously we're no makeup. No, no, no. I'm gonna but... I'm gonna dress up for that because I want to. <laughs> but that'll be good because I can have like that one thing that I do a nice little dress up for. And that's fine. Yeah. And then the rest of my week, my skin can have a breather. But also at the same time, well, it's not the same time. I always have my skin stuff. But I've come on my period as well, oh. so I've just got the cramps going, the eyes flaring. It's a great week. Yeah. Last time I was on my period, I had food poisoning, so it's not as bad as that. But it all came at once then, didn't it? <laughs> it did. That was a happy days. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, today is Monday. We're starting our morning right. We're out on a dog walk. Hello, baby girl. Mia's yeah. coming. Ball. Come on, Mia. We've got a big kick of cowis on the case. Please? She's got the so, biggest boot in Cardiff. Because James is carrying Amber, I'm Here got we this go. Job. Go on, Mia. Woo! Oh, that ball is hard to catch. It is a very fancy ball. Keeps her busy. Good job, Mia. Come on. Mia, come on. So we're back from dog walk. James is cooking us a roast. It's actually it's was a Monday. A Monday. Dinner was dinner on Monday lunch. Oh my so goodness. Cheesy. That's so crazy. <laughs> a Monday roast. What are we like? <laughs> um, we have too much flexibility in our life. I know, literally. <laughs> that is true. Uh, yeah, Amber's gone down for a nap. Mila is exhausted. Hello, you. You look exhausted from your walk. You're so sleepy always. Yeah, we're just prepping for uh, a meeting that we've got. So... No rubbing. Oh, um, but yeah, she's still sleeping. That's the good thing about the hitch being an extension. I that... know. She can't hear us. She can't hear us because there's no rooms above us. I know. That is good, actually. Yeah. Especially, like, all the way down there in the kitchen. It's nice and far away from Amber. We know if we can hear if we've been too loud because we can hear it come through the monitor. So like if James is like, Karis! Like, and then it literally comes through on the monitor, Karis! Of what she can obviously hear from her room. 
So even when James sneezes sometimes, it goes, you know, oh, right through. Away, how loud my sneezes oh are. my gosh. I don't know if you guys have ever heard James's one of James's sneezes on the vlog. Shoo! The house shakes. I'm That's not even being dramatic. True. It's a bit true, yeah it is. Yeah, we're prepping for a really exciting meeting we've got. Um a, a Zoom meeting, very exciting company initial discussions you never know whether it's going to like bloom into something amazing or whether it's just going to be like a no you know not going to work so yeah we've got one of them we've got some really cool ideas that we're going um sort of like going to put forward and stuff so yeah we're very excited about that but we're just prepping all of that and i'm very excited that my tulips are still literally standing up to the heavens i don't know how these are the ones that so when we went on holiday our friends came to stay and I, you probably saw in the vlog, I was very excited to get tulips for them when they arrived. Um, and she knew me very well, Abby, that she, um, yeah, replaced all my tulips and got me an even better bunch that literally, I don't know. I honestly thought that she'd put, because every time I show tulips, loads of people say, put a 2p or like a copper coin or something in the bottom of the vase and it's meant to make them like stand like that but I think it's just because she got such a big voluptuous bunch and didn't do what I did which is get the ones that are on offer for like a pound that are already like drooping and dying I think she got a very voluptuous bunch that are just very good quality tulips there because I did check and there's no 2p in the bottom of there although I did hear before about putting them in I mean mine were in a metal vase and did droop so you know it's not solving all the issues but apparently having them in this like type of material vase helps them to stand so I would believe that if that would be what my tulips look like every time but they don't it's just the one-offs so whichever ones Abby chose were magic magic tulips and they look gorgeous and i'm obsessed with them as you guys know i'm obsessed with tulips wow cooking with nigella no james a twist james jella so it comes off <laughs> and then you put it in the into steam <laughs> okay so the call was great i'm off i'm not gonna yeah it was really good wasn't it yes yeah, so really hope really continue. i hope we can continue with it as well it's very exciting but obviously it was just an initial talk oh my gosh i just walked into the sofa just an initial talk so you never know kind of like what's gonna like, go forward from these things how they're gonna move forward anyway got my camera vlogging on another camera boom we've got two one for time lapses because i know you guys love a time lapse um and i'm trying to incorporate them more in the vlogs so there's just laundry laundry everywhere radiator cover as well guys for anyone that missed it in one of the last vlogs before we went away i should whisper i'm still asleep um but yeah we are so in love with this radiator cover and it's not long now till so the carpenter that did this one look how seamless it is i just love it like honestly it puts my homemade radiator cover just absolute shame so yeah this um, we're not going to paint or do anything with until the guy, the carpenter, the guy, the carpenter comes to do the panelling. So the hall, we're having all panelled at like a height above the console. I can't remember what the exact height was that we said. Also, guys, my nails are still on. How? I do not know. I mean, they're barely, they're barely clinging on. Look how much they've grown out. But, you know, I'll still be flashing them on every uh, clip of the vlog because I never have my nails done. So when I do, I'm like, oh, hi. You okay yeah so here's my lamp <laughs> so yeah we're having it about this high um i'll pop up a picture of like the style that we're having we're having it all across the hallway and so it'll incorporate nicely we're going for like a darker it's like a slightly darker color at the bottom and then a white at the top and so that darker color will continue through the radiator cover we're having uh, all the paneling done hopefully i think in like a week or so so that'll be a nice little anyway i'm stalling laundry this is literally just the start of it guys i feel like just since having a baby laundry's just been like non-stop i mean it's always just one of those jobs that you've got to do now i've had a baby we've had a baby the laundry's non-stop and then also we come back from holiday now it's just like 50 million loads to do so i'm cracking on this is my jobs for today Cut there. 
this. We've got roast on a Monday. Aren't we lucky? Um, we were going to have the roast. We love cooking a roast and having it with Amber. Um, but she's having a mammoth nap today. We've had a meeting, started yeah. laundry. Now we're eating a roast, but we're chuffed. It's good because it'll because... be cool by the time she gets down. Oh, yeah, true. So then she can get stuck in. It takes ages to cool yeah. that. Usually we try, try, like make her up a plate and then put it in the freezer for like a couple of seconds. It honestly cools it down really quickly. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's a good hack. Um, but we're chuffed that she's getting a good nap in because we've got our first soft play later with some friends so that we're going to. We've never been before. She's obviously a bit young, but apparently yeah, they've got good stuff. Throw her into the soft play. <laughs> into the ball pit. And practice her little walking. Honestly, guys, she's going to love it. the obstacles. So we want her to have lots of energy and feel refreshed, so it's, it's a good thing. Guys, so just finished lunch. Yummy, yummy. Just sort of TikTok because I'm a TikToker now. I can't even remember what my username is. Well, anyway, I don't, want to lose, I don't want to lose this TikTok right now. So I'm just going to show them the TikTok first, and then I'm going to show you. If he can tell you what's wrong with... So, look! Yeah. What, if he can tell you what's wrong with the curls, marry him. My curls marry him, okay, guys? So you know, you probably know what's wrong with the curls. Let's see if James can tell. <laughs> you not brushed them out or something? Yay! Well done, Boo! How did you know that? Because I never kill my hair. It just made sense. It just looks like... they look too curled. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've never seen that hairstyle, so I'm assuming something else was to happen. Again. Very intelligent guess. Thank you. Well done, you passed. Thank you. I guess I've got to marry you. Oh, I'm already okay. married to you. Bit awkward. <sighs> already got a ring on the finger. But yeah, I guess I better tidy the kitchen and go back to doing the laundry, because Amber is still asleep. Change of plan. James has gone to get his hair cut. <laughs> And Amber, Amber has just woken up, so I'm gonna go yeah. with you. Oh, is that a little giggle? Hello, you! Hello, cheeky jumper! Hello! Oh, hi! Oh. <laughs> wow, wee, that's a lovely little giggle! Wow, look at you! Yay, 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 yay! <laughs> Bouncy boing! <laughs> You're very fresh, aren't you, after just woken up? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You saying hello? Hello! <laughs> Hi! Hello! Good girl! Good waving! Good waving! Oh, you're so clever! Wowee! She can pull herself up to stand in. You're getting so strong. Are you? Me. Yeah. You say hi and you say bye sometimes as well, don't you? And you say mama. Oh. And you say dada. And you say, what's your favourite one? Ada. Ada. Look at your outfit, baby. Look at your outfit. You got little love letters, love letters. Who are they to? To me and Daddy, I hope. To me and Daddy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do laundry together. Woo! All right. Special lotion. <laughs> Whoa! I'm glad you're so excited about laundry then. Crawling away. <laughs> Woo! We are now popping off to soft play. I'm like leaning out of the utility room because although we painted the utility room black, well, it's actually half black, half white, which I love. It's got the worst lighting in the world. So I'm just uh, popping out into the hallway for better lighting. We're off to soft play for the first time. Are you excited? Are you gonna see your friend? Yay! You're gonna have so much fun. Completely forgot to show you guys the new hair. I was too busy focusing on me. The lighting and the utility. Wow, loving it. Looking fresh. Yeah. Looking fine. Yeah. Thank you. Excited going on my haircut. Just getting I'm ready for a big shoot day on in two days' time. I know you're ready. I know. I'm camera ready. Yeah, I've just shoved dry shampoo in mine, so I'll be uh, you know timing it right for a little wash. <laughs> 
Because that's wash your hair too much for us, as a girl. No, no, I don't wash it too much. Do you wash yours every day or something yeah, stupid like that? Yeah, at least once a day. That's just at least once a day. Is that is that not normal for guys though? I don't know. Let me know, guys in the back, guys watching the vlog. I just wash my hair every time I shower, essentially. Yeah, this is the thing. James literally just goes in the shower, pops his head under, blops a bit of shampoo on. Like for me, I'm like, Sorry, no. That just sounds like how you wash your hair. I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I explained how I also would wash my hair in that way. No, but he literally doesn't even move position. Like he just like faces straight on in the shower. We were talking about this the other day. And literally just pops his head under, like facing the stream, like the whole face gets. And I was like, right, turn around and try and get your head, like just so your hair's in the shower like that. And then you wash it back. And you just weren't having any of it. I was going in my ears all the water was. When I go forward, my nice big pointy out ears. <laughs> They protect stop, they stop the water from going into my ears i clearly need to try this new method to just do. block my head forward i just can't have, see it have working like pointy out ears? well my forward is so much better then why do you care if you get wet you're like oh and then your face doesn't get wet like okay, i don't like it going in my eyes wet. but close your eyes that's what you do you, you literally <laughs> close your eyes don't you the whole why, time why is that so weird close i don't your know because <laughs> it takes me ages to wash my hair and like why? wash it and then condition it and i'd be closing you open your eyes in between yeah, but then what if I get some shampoo and then it's in my eye and then I'm open it in between and like, then oh. you wash it, you, you make sure there's no shampoo on your face. But because when you go yeah. forward, shampoo no. is so easy. I think, but do I you agree? But I can understand it being different no. with long hair people. Yeah, yeah, I think it's different for long hair. But even so, Fast like, time. yeah, not every day. For me, it's like every few days. Um, but maybe I am destroying my hair. Maybe even guys don't wash them their yeah, hair yeah, every yeah. day. What's the down low, guys? My Let dad us know. washes hair every day, but ah. he now has no hair. <laughs> oh no! So this is what you're doing to yourself. You've got I'm loads of hair. My dad, to... for some reason, yeah. who since I can remember had very little hair, <laughs> and now has. I look back but on photos. Like, oh, you did have hair once. Yeah. <laughs> you've got a lot to lose yet, so you can keep going strong. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, we've arrived. Jump! Let's go! We're gonna jump! Oh, oh so excited. <laughs> Woo, we're going in! It is literally so quiet in here. It's amazing. We've got the whole place to ourselves, go basically. Play. Like, I'm just too young to be on this I want to go on the bouncy castle. <laughs> we're gonna have way too much fun. Our friend is here somewhere with her baby, so we're just walking around trying to find her. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Steady, like the swimming. It's quite vertical. Ready? <laughs> oh my goodness! How underwhelming! Woo! <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> Go on, Chris. Ready, Amber? No, it's gonna beat you. It's a race. <laughs> Amber's just in shock. It's a no from Amber. No. Wow, we nearly You look good in that mirror. Oh. The toddlers <laughs> run off, so we're stuck with the Look at you with twins. I know. Oh, yeah, I know. Ah. She's like, no, ma'am. I need all the attention. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Good morning, Amber Wamba. You've got avocado around your face, Missy. Good morning, guys. It is now the next day. After James took the mick out of me yesterday, he's the one having a lion today. Um, we do this every time. Like, if one of us has, like, obviously we do one each on the weekend. And then if one of us has, like, I had an extra one yesterday because I was like, I'm on my period. I need a lion. Then he ends up the next day being like, Maybe I can have a lion. But yeah, we're just very, very grateful. Oh, we're very, very grateful that we both are at home with you and we are able to do that because that is certainly not the case for most people. So yes, this morning, or today even, um, I'm just actually making James a cup of tea because we're going to wake Daddy with a cuppa. He only slept in until 8 o'clock today, so it's not... Because she's up at half six, which, yeah, like some babies are up at half five, so half six is actually still like, quite good. Um, even when we lie in, we still feel like we're up, like you got like the whole day, which is nice. Whereas before having a baby, like we used to lie in till like midday, 
And then half your day would be like just gone. Your day would just be over. So even like a lie until eight o'clock just feels nice. Yes, I'm just making a cup of tea for James. And uh, today we are tidying and organizing for that booming video, which we have been but meant to be doing for so long, um, but it is actually still going ahead tomorrow. Um, so the camera crew are coming here to film the house tour, which is all gonna be kind of over on their channel and their sort of platforms, but I'm sure we'll point you in that direction. I think we're actually gonna do like a, cause YouTube, like, I don't know when our videos will line up, but I know there's like, you can post on the community page. So I think we're posting on there when it goes live on their channel. Yeah, so we're basically just having one last massive organize and tidy today. So like making sure all the rooms are tidy and then we'll do, yeah, just, and then we'll be ready basically to go. So yeah, once it's all tidy, which we're gonna do now, I've just made the kitchen an absolute mess. You probably can't even tell from here, but we just made eggy bread, did weaning, and the food just ended up all over the floor. Let me show you breathing. Ready? You too shy. You too shy. <laughs> I started doing this thing like I can't remember what it was but if like she was getting a bit het up or like upset or like just every now and then I would do like a little meditation breathing with her and just like touch her tummy and be like it's okay and now she does this thing where she reaches out and she goes And you like it, don't you? Can kill you, can kill you. That's so good. She literally has got avocado around her whole mouth, so <laughs> we just feel that fat. Um, so yeah, tied to the kitchen is my first job on my to-do list of today. So oh, James's mum has been here looking after Amber while we have done a complete whiz. We've bang wash of the house. Yes, we so are we've absolutely done a big tidy. And what's happening is we've got a cleaner coming in who is just gonna make it hopefully as spick and span as possible. And we are leaving now to We're staying at James's parents. Yeah. <laughs> literally, guys, the unrealisticness of the tidiness oh. of the house. Because otherwise <laughs> we're gonna wean Amber tonight or we're gonna Mess. Like, even just use in the showers and stuff and it starts getting a little bit Mess know, and stress and it's a nice excuse for a little night away. Yeah. We're going to go parents. over, we're going to have a bit of a Chinese takeaway. You love going to nannies as well. Oh, yeah, you going, do. We? So yes, we're going to go there now. Tidy. I'm not yet clean. Yeah. So we're going to come tomorrow morning. We're going to give you a little house up. Wow. We will. We'll show you the rest in the morning. And I'm also going to make sure, guys, I get the mini eggs filled up. Don't you worry. Potentially maybe some new tulips because these might drop by tomorrow, but we'll see. We're going to come in and it's just going to be tulips. I know. Oh, Petals. So we're out of the house. We look like jumbled messes. I've got my Birkenstocks. Yeah, looks really good. Oh, oh yeah, you look smart. You I'm look quite hard, yeah. <laughs> this is like the most effort I put into an outfit. All black, everything. All black. And I know. I didn't put that in my hand. No. <laughs> And no, 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 soft. <laughs> that's the one. That's the one thing that you, you know, do that's to put your effort in is to put the gel in your hair. That's it. That's what I do. To I mean, it, just a bit of gel. That's more than what I've done today. Um, well, I haven't done it. So. No, we're on it. No, still, your outfit looks Even more put Stevens. together than mine. So we're on our way to James's parents now. Um, and yeah, we'll be heading back in the morning to. Yeah. A, ha a tidy house, and tidier yeah, than it'll ever be. It's an easy house. Just honestly rushing around has frazzled my brain a bit. I'm sweating so much. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything yet today and it's gone midday. I know. Have you eaten anything? Um, I could see that Amber hadn't eaten anything. Yeah, I made eggy the, bread. The yeah, she threw it everywhere, didn't she? Yeah. Um, I did make eggy bread, yeah. So well, I did yeah. end up eating all the eggy bread that I made for Amber as well as for me. So I think I had about four slices of eggy bread this morning. So, oh, so um, you're fine. So I should be full, but obviously I'm always ready for another snack. <laughs> I'm definitely ready for one now. Hello, Mila. Good morning, guys. It is now the next day. Hello. We are very excited. It's gonna be a good day today. So today's the oh, day. Of course. Today's the day. I've gotten half ready 
for this thing that we're doing. So we're filming the house tour thing with Boomin. So we're going back to the house, which obviously we've left in the tidiest state that it's ever been in, which is very exciting. Um, but we'll only stay that tidy until we've Off stopped filming. Yeah. yeah. So we're going back there. We're filming all day with them today. It's going to be the longest time that we've ever been away from Amber, which is like exciting that we're, you know, able to do able that. To do that. Um, and she's got James's parents. parents. Yeah, so she's got both our parents. She's such a lucky little girl. She's got the best grandparents. Not only that, but they're all going to be around with her today. Um, yeah, and so James is, we've just come from James's parents. She's like starting there, they got a day planned, and then we're like meeting for like a lunchtime break all together at my parents, which is like five minutes from our house. Um, so I can feed her and we can just kind of like put her down for a nap and stuff. And anyway, but in between those two times it's going to be like the longest that we've been away from her yeah. um, but it'll be good as well because we're going to be very busy we're going to be you know not really having time to be crying um, and yeah I'm just growing up. Oh, she's she's even growing. she really is growing up so <laughs> fast guys um, but yeah I'm so excited to film the video and um, we're on our way we're going to grab a Starbucks on the way just me and you bud James and Karis, the OG team! <laughs> well, I'll see how big the queue is, because I ain't oh, in. Yeah. Like, we don't have time. We don't. Sometimes, with these takeaway coffee places, it can be like five minutes. So, so like, we've waited for like 20, oh, 25 minutes. Oh, we've literally before. waited for 20 minutes, is, I know. It's crazy, and I'm not really too sure. It's just, I don't know, it probably just depends on like, you could have a car in front of you with like five people with yes, like five really complicated orders. You don't know what like you're gonna get. Car could have like just yeah, a, a party. Yeah, exactly. Or they could have like five mochaccino, frappuccino. Exactly, with exactly. Syrup six times. The three. orders, I feel like I need to like get the knowledge of the funky orders and like get a cool ordering because I'm just, I'm getting boring now. I'm just start. we both go for just cappuccino now. I know, I've had my game. You have, I know, you've yeah. gone from American and to cappuccino, which is very daring. I'm getting an Americana today. But, oh. Yeah, sometimes it's a bit early for a cappuccino, <laughs> isn't it? It's a bit too early for that milk. 8 a.m. Yeah. Just go go back to the Americana. <laughs> it was the biggest Starbucks queue we've ever seen. So we had to settle for the muck coffee from oh, the muck. muck cafe at McDonald's. But we do quite like a muck coffee from McDonald's. So. I love muck coffees. Yeah, That's we do. But <laughs> I, know. I think um, McDonald's coffees are great. We do, we so love simple. them. Simple, yeah, sorts the solution, cheap, yeah, that's what, Caffeinated. Yeah, all good. <laughs> that's the main thing. Hot. Um, so yeah, we're now heading straight there. We're a bit tight for time given the fact that I was meant to be, well, I'm obviously the one who takes longer to get ready. Um, and that's, I did thought I'd brought... It takes me ages. <laughs> and this doesn't happen naturally. Wow! You're already Do ready you though. Actually, this beautiful. I wondered where you were for hours this morning. <laughs> Just glamming up. <laughs> um, I've forgotten random things like my eyebrow pencil and just my lip liner and everything basically. I like so very organized. I know. Since having a baby, I am. But with my makeup bag, I often forget that Amber's favourite thing to do is unpack my makeup bag. So she often unpacks things and throws them around the room and then things go missing. So clearly she's whipped out the lip liner and the eyebrow pencil and I just haven't found it since. So I'm gonna have to hope I find them when I get home. Otherwise, does that mean you're not going to have any lips or eyebrows? <laughs> yeah, that you just literally won't see them on the video. It'll be like that. So we've just gotten home and honestly, I can't believe I've forgotten to even sort out the porch. Like the main bit as you come up to the house. My wreath! My wreath! Look at it! It's literally death! It's just dead! I'm going to have to honestly get my one now from in the garage. My all year round They're wreath. They're not going to show the front door, are they? They might! I mean, it wouldn't be a very good start, would it? But look how lovely our front door is now painted. Uh, on it. Yeah, we could actually just take the wreath off. I've also got like a Christmas tree with a floppy head. So I really just need to have a sort out of this <laughs> blooming thing. Should we just give a little whiz round of the house? Should we do it super quick. Yeah. House talk. So you guys have never seen. Have you been here before? Uh, nice. You may not have even seen inside this house if you've been watching our vlogs. Because um, we basically every time just. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> what were you going to say? You go first. Interrupting me! Wow! I was just going to say, every time we get anything new in the house, we show the whole house. Um, yeah. We're like, so we've got the new sofa in the lounge. Just to let you know, here's the playroom, here's the utility, here's the toilet, here's the kitchen. I've got this thing, honestly, because when I used to watch vlogs of people's houses, I used to just spend the whole time being like, oh, they're going into the kitchen. 
Wait, so where does, because obviously I, we, love houses, layouts, everything, interior. They would be moving around the house and I'd be like, oh my God, wait, show me in there, what's in there? Oh wait, oh my God, wait, so that links up to that and that. So now I do get a bit OTT. Every time I show something, I'm like, I take it all the way back. I'm like, so here's the front door. Right, let me just show you because I have got a new vase. Let me just show you where I put my vase. Um, so now- the vase is here, <laughs> I'll just go up the steps. <laughs> Um, also, really, not annoyingly, but they, we thought they were coming at half nine, but they've just sent text to say they're coming at half ten, which is hilarious because the house is so tidy that we're not even going to allow ourselves to sit on the sofa. I don't know what to do. To I'm, I'm hoping it's plumped. Is this is still plumped. Oh yeah, okay, let's just... You um, plumped it yesterday before we let... So, you come in the front door. Duh, you got the hall. I mean, it looks a mess now, doesn't it? Because of the blooming... Is it? Yeah, it is see, plumped. that's nice. My, my back vest, though, is always looking unplumped at the moment. Yeah, you know? no, honestly. And there's a Christmas pillow. Hopefully they won't see that turned that way around. <laughs> yeah, see, everything just, like, no, you can't sit. We can't sit. I'll We've just got... have to sit. I can sit here. This doesn't really plump. So yeah, you can sit there. I can sit here and watch some TV yeah. or something. For that's time. lovely. You just spend an hour doing that. Don't turn on the TV. Don't risk, uh, no. you know, doing anything too unusual. Don't miss the house exploding. <laughs> So I'm also going to go around and light all the candles, light all my fairy lights, put them on, make it a nice homely vibes. Just turn on all the lights to waste as much electricity as possible. Oh, that really. we batteries. We go through batteries for fun, don't we? Yeah. So, yeah I got so many fairy lights. Okay, so yeah. So anyway, let's just do a quick tour oh, whilst the house tour. is tidy. Okay. So that's the lounge. This is the hallway, which still kind of looks like a mess because... Oh, we didn't go to McDonald's breakfast. Just ignore that. Oh yeah, no, that's obviously that's just... That's going to stay there for when... That's not when ours. <laughs> and we've got the... Playroom. Which then. Dun, 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 dun. Which goes through this door to the kitchen. Or you come around. This is exciting, isn't it? You've got upstairs. Oh, 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 oh. What's in here? Oh. What's in here? Utility that used to be our garage. What's in there? The rest of the garage. Not even going to show you because yeah, it's just full. Um, it's an absolute mess. Storage. Storage. Good for the pram. James just decided he needed extra shoe storage, so his shoes go there oh, as just, well as under the, the effort, bench. Isn't it? Getting them in and out the bench. So. Yeah. Dog bath. So we absolutely love this, especially for winter months with Mila, oh, who loves to roll in mud. Washing machine, dryer, Birds. more storage, coats. Lovely. Coming around the corner, there's the lounge, playroom, stairs, <laughs> under the stairs, just some random stuff, including the hoover and some random bits. Well, it's always good to keep the hoover within reach, I'd like to just remember the world to do something here. Bathroom. Toilet. Toilet, sorry. That's his cloakroom. It's not a cloakroom. That's that is you, what a cloakroom that's is. That's where you hang your cloak. No, a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly. You have a room just for one cloak. Our cloaks are in there. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds stupid, but I really thought a cloakroom was where you put your cloak. I'm, I'm like a coat. confident, although you're really? that a cloakroom is a downstairs toilet. What? It's not anything to do with cloak. Because didn't you used to maybe put your cloaks in your downstairs toilet? <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe you're right. You've thrown me. I think a cloakroom is, is when you mix a so toilet do they with call a cloak. What, a downstairs WC? A downstairs toilet? Yeah, a downstairs toilet. But you call yeah. it a bathroom, which is not. No, no, it's not a bathroom because there's no bath. Or shower even. Or oh, shower. <laughs> and then we come through to the kitchen. Got the little thing there. And then that's the door through to the playroom. This is this little space that we've got here. It looks like we've got zebra stripes in there. I know, look at that. Wow. And it's then... Zebra. Wow, you. you are. That's very American. And then we've got the kitchen. <sighs> Which goes down here. We've got the garden. Look at the morning sun. Beaming, it's gorgeous out there. Kitchen, kitchen. Oh, kitchen. Tulips, oh, see, I said that was, oh my gosh, we didn't get the mini eggs. Good job, you've got an hour off, you go, get the mini eggs. Are you, are you actually gonna send me off to get the <laughs> mini eggs? I'll go, I've got nothing else to do. Yeah, please, can you? Yeah. Okay. Honestly, new tulips, because honestly, these are gonna drop at any minute. And mini eggs, Woo! Okay. I Everything happens that. for a reason, we've got another hour. I'm wearing my hoodie. I am wearing your hoodie, yeah. Do I look cute in it? You look cute in it, yeah. I do feel cute in it actually. It's a, <laughs> it's a really nice, um, like thinner hoodie to wear with jeans. A lot of mine are quite thick. It is, it it's is like a, a fashion hoodie. hoodie. Well, like you know, like I'm all about fashion and the comfort. You know that. Yeah. No, it feels really I'm nice. I'm actually wearing jeans today. I'm feeling a bit restricted. I'm like, 
I know we're both wearing jeans, like what are we doing? Uh, usually I wear my in the style jeans. They're fine because they're literally like as comfy as joggers, but they don't come in this color yet. Um, so yeah, these ones are much more genie, genie feel. So yeah, they're very. Uh oh, oh no, oh my God. <laughs> Chocolate. House will be tidy and I'll be covered in chocolate. Anyway, I better go get ready. You're not going to show the upstairs. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah, sorry. House tour. Oh my god, I have to start back at the front door. So here's the front door. Okay, so up the stairs. Obviously, everything still is kind of like work in progress. Like the whole way, you guys know what the plans are and everything. What? Guys, don't judge us, it's all work in progress. <laughs> Guys, just don't look at this bit. Don't look! Don't look. Close your eyes. I haven't, I haven't painted the radiator cover yet. Okay, bedroom, which absolutely never looks like that. It's hilarious. Oh, Imagine if it did. 25 items of cows' clothing on the room. Shut up. And she even has her own dressing room and still manages to congregate. I know, I know, I know, I know. So yeah, wait. I didn't give her a very good pan here. Oh. So you go around the corner to the wardrobes, which very soon, a carpenter's come in and we're having built-in wardrobes there. We're having a little window seat under there. Um, and we're doing like a whole... She's basically going to be new Mila's new dog bed. Yeah, she's going to absolutely love life. Yeah. So yeah, we're doing a bedroom transformation, which is happening quite soon, which is exciting. But yeah, that's the bedroom. Then we've got a little ensuite as well, which we love. Karis, get off the bed. Karis, get off the bed. Oh, I'm sat on the bed. I sat on the bed. Karis. Thank you for... Thank you for that. Is that a, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit creased. It is a bit crumpled. Oh dear. Oh no. Get the steamer out. We're going to have to reduce our fee. <laughs> There's no way they're paying us for this now. Sorry, your <laughs> bed looks very crumpled. Crumpled. We're okay. We're going to have to knock 50% off the fee. This is, I love how like businessy James is. He's just all about the fee. Then we got a little um, shower in there. In here we get the main bathroom. Oh, bit of a stiff door, this one. Oh yeah, we better put the mat down. Is that what you want? Put it down. Put the mat down! So we, we usually put this one here, don't what we? What about lights as well? Like, what are we thinking? We're gonna put them on when we go, not that one, that's hideous. Yeah, you don't like that one, do you? Yeah. But I think it's quite... Gosh, we'll just turn them more on. Turn the fan off. Yeah, the fan's gonna be annoying. So which way do you put that? That way you want to do Yeah, that's nice actually with those lights on. Um, yeah, whatever way. Just that. gives... Gives the foot a little bit of warmth, doesn't it? That basket looks a bit flaccid. Should we uh, move it? That <laughs> Floppy. <laughs> Let's leave it. Dun, 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 dun. Amber's room. Oh, I remember getting this little sign for Amber when I was pregnant. Also, I don't know if you've been able to see. I just got a glimpse of it then when the door was shut. But James thought he'd be really cool. Yeah, you can see him all. Oh, can you? <laughs> like, one, oh, two. Well, really obvious no, so obvious. James was like, you know, no, prepping for the. Really cool. No, no, no. It was prepping for the video, wasn't it? I was like organising and tidying, and you were like, I'm going to touch up the doors. Um, and I, I just think don't get it because it is honestly the identical paint that's on get the that. doors. It must be literally over six months. The doors like absorb the paint even it must more. Be. It's such a shame. Why he was are they gutted. So shiny? Absolutely gutted. They didn't do every single door until I realised. Look at this. Because he only did little patches and yeah, they're just all. Paint, like all the, do the whole, all the yeah, doors. Yeah, nah, they're yeah, fine. they're fine. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think you'll notice unless um, I tell you. Amber's nursery. It's one of my favourite rooms in the house. It took me about eighteen years to do the house. stickers, and everyone right. said I did too many. Right. <laughs> just sorting out the rug. And Mila's bone has been there for ages. It's not actually a real bone. It's just like one of those fake ones. I don't know ones. why. I don't know. She brought it in here one day. Well, she'll it. miss it if we move it. Yeah. There'll be one of those. She'll come in and she'll be like, where's the bone, guys? Da 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 da. I'm just doing some amazing Can camera work. work here. Probably making everyone feel sick. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. And then, I'm almost done. You can see into the garden. Ooh. Bless you. <gasps> and then we've got the guest room, which is currently just nothing, really. It's just... um. Kind of like a storage. So we do want to make this into a guest room, but yeah. we're kind of semi-waiting because we're getting a new bed for our room yeah. soon, and then we're going to put that bed in here, 
So we can't decide whether just to get a mattress and chuck it on the floor for now. Yeah, because we like we've got some like come coming up to like spring and summer, yeah. and there's like all the holidays coming up. Yeah. Like we have a couple of friends and stuff that live in London, and they'd love to come down. And is it acceptable to go? Yes, we've got a lovely guest room. Yeah, a mattress on the floor. Honestly, a mattress on the floor is lovely. Like that's a pop some people do that. Yeah. Some people do just have a mattress on the floor. You don't really need a bed frame. No. Um, no. You know we can be those cool people, we okay? And then we have it my dressing room. Oh so yeah, old. I know. A lot of my cupboards doors don't close properly because um, they're like bulging at the seams. They, they were both, they're all closed perfectly. No, this one isn't. One no. is. They just were both open so you didn't even notice. Oh, and this one. None of them were closed. <laughs> so yeah, these were one of the first things that we had done in the house and they were, they are still one of my favourite things we've had done. Yeah, they're There's really good. Corking at the top there, it's cracking from the ceiling over mm. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. Don't tell me these things. Don't look good. up. Don't look up. That's a movie that we watched yesterday. Oh, I'll finish it yet then. Don't tell us the ending, we haven't <laughs> finished. We will have a good finish, we'll have a vlog or <laughs> Yeah, true. So yeah, that's everything. I know, this isn't the t-shirt I'm wearing for it, guys. Don't change. <laughs> Just fell over. <laughs> you okay? I'm okay. Yeah, your bum saved you. My bum. My booty just collapsed onto this. Luckily it doesn't crease or dent, so we're all good. Alright, so I'm going to get mini eggs, am I? Oh my gosh, also, like, the little holes in there are just so, like, don't even look in them. James, you can look in them closely. Oh, full of dog hair. Yeah, how'd you get them out? Henry you have to get, like, Henry. a little hoover thing. Let's get a Henry. A little zzz, zzz, zzz. No, Henry's pretty powerful. Like, yeah, I can, you, obviously, you'd probably do it. And yeah, Henry just, would be you'd good. the whole store. <laughs> Literally, let's hope they don't zoom in on that. Yeah, and then we imagine we just end up being on like an exposed TV show. Yeah, oh my gosh. A little bit of dog hair in their footstool. Look uh, in this cupboard, all the clothes fall out. Because <laughs> I've just shoved them all in there. <laughs> okay, off you go, get mini eggs. I will. So, James has returned from his travels. Hi. <laughs> James didn't have any mini eggs, that's a bit of <laughs> I asked you to turn off. <laughs> um, he's got the mini eggs, he's got a little selection of all the Easter goodies. Look at the good choice of tulips. Thank you. They look gorgeous. One was £5 and one was £2.75. I know, the prices are confusing. I think it's to do with like, I don't know. Which ones are cheaper? Was, they're cheaper. Yeah, because they're like already open. Oh, okay. So they'll last less amount of time, I think. No, I like them shut. I like tulip shirt. Yeah, but those are perfect. Those are perfect. So I've got my outfit on. I really didn't know what to wear, but I wanted to like keep it cash, but quite like smart. But then also like a bit of me. So I do love a pair of jeans. Um, even though, you know, I just feel very uncomfy in them. And then I've got like a little linen top because I love these types of tops. But I'm like, do I need to steam this? Yes, I'm going to give it a quick steam now. Um, and I'm going to pop some gold jewellery on with it. I've just gone for a classic Karis little two curled strands hair. Um... So yeah, once I pop some jewellery on, and then we've of course got to have the slippers on. We're both going to wear slippers because even though we're trying to look a little bit smart, we also want to stay like, you know, house tour vibes, which is what we wear at home, which would be slippers. Do they look cute? Oh, they look lush. And then this one, I hope we could put some Femex. Yeah, lovely so idea. Oh, oh my gosh, yay. I'm so happy we've all done that. So they're here. Don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> I just popped upstairs to top up my lip colour before we start. They've clipped on the mic. I have never had, I don't know why I'm stalling up here, I've never had a microphone clipped on me before. I feel so professional. Hello, hello, welcome to my home. Oh gosh, let's get this house door filmed. Okay, so we're on our lunch break. <laughs> It's been going really well so far. We were just having a little Fun. discussion, little debrief. We did, we were feeling, not well, we were. It still makes us a little bit nervous when we do stuff like that. Yeah. Um, it's just not, even though it's, it's very same, similar to yeah. what we do, it's strange because like I said, saying to us, we usually look at each other and one of us is holding the camera. Like now, yeah. So it's strange yeah. for someone else to be holding the camera and like, I don't know where to look. I'm like, like, hello. <laughs> do I look lovingly into the cameraman's eyes? Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we're having a great time. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see Amber now, have some lunch, feed her, give her a cuddle, and then we're back to work. We've done the downstairs of the house and then we'll be moving on to the upstairs. Yes. Woo! So the booming guys have just left. That was such a lush day in the end. Yeah, it was so nice. Wasn't it? You, you had fun it? with Nanny and Grams, a little bit of footage. You were like, oh my gosh, Ada, Ada, Ada. Um, yeah, it was really, really good. It was really good fun. Yeah. It was like a nice, 
nicely awkward at times in terms of it was like a nice yeah. challenge yeah it wasn't like it felt like different enough from vlogging to be like it was definitely like i feel wrecking. really tired yeah because obviously you have to we have to think quite intensely at certain points and stuff yeah. and i know we're not used to thinking guys we used I to do. just chat and rubbish for an hour you know that <laughs> yeah literally <laughs> um but yeah it was really really good fun the people yeah. were lovely and yeah it was just a nice kind of like really different fun. collab yeah. to work on as well yeah it was like it was fun. a different you know we've never done that style of collab before so we'll be both posting on our instagram story when that video goes live we currently have no idea when it's going to go live sometime in the next few months so we'll post to let you know that on our instagram right now so we're going to take Mila out on a dog walk um so yeah we're going to head off and do that now should we do that yeah. yeah! We missed you! Good evening! <laughs> Hello, cheeky! <laughs> so, James is currently... It's too dark, you won't be able to see him out there, but... He's currently in the garden. My dad's friend does, like, landscaping and, like, garden uh, stuff. Um, and so, uh, he's discussing... Uh, Hello! I know I'm looking at you all the time, Missy! They're currently discussing some cool work. Um, like landscaping and stuff that we might do in the garden. Ahem! I like to be on the vlog! You haven't been on the vlog all day because you've been with Nanny. Did you have a nice day? She had such a good day. Um, yeah, but she was so excited. Are you? Are you? Are you excited to see us? She loves this bottle, honestly, guys. She can't stop drinking from it. I just realised we actually vlogged since, like, we ended the... Uh, Thing earlier so that was kind of like a jump back to um sorry it's literally <laughs> pitch black up here bright lights oh that's an adjustment um so yeah i'm just gonna run amber's bath but yeah she was so excited <laughs> earlier. Yeah. Um, excuse me you are covered in food missy you gotta have a bath time she bum shuffled all the way over to us at like literally the speed of light um <laughs> literally making that noise and then she lay, like I was like lying back on the sofa. You stand up and say hello. Ready? One, two, three. Up you get by yourself. There we go. Messy chops. Lying on me on the sofa and just would like gripped so hard, like clinging onto my jumper and just head on my chest, which is quite unusual for her. She's not like super, super kitschy. And oh, you're a kitschy girl today. And she was just there for like, not even joking, like 15 minutes, which is so long for her. She kept lifting her head up, having a look around, and then snuggling back into me. So, yeah, that was the best thing ever. That was at lunchtime, like when we saw her after the biggest stint. And then she was still, like, more than happy for us to go for another few hours and stuff. Like, she's so, so happy with her grandparents, which is so nice. But then she also misses us, which is so nice. Okay, so James has just gone. I'm just doing my window back up because James came out to say bye bye. Good morning. It's now the next day. We sometimes have these. Oh, good morning. Hello, Chopsy. We sometimes have these days where if one of us has quite a bit of work to do, the other one will take. I know, we're getting on our way now. Um, the other one will take, like, Amber for the day. I mean, obviously, we have her. We, like, share her half and half because we're both lucky enough to work from home. Um, but James has got loads of bits that he needs to do today, so he's having, like, a full work day in the house. Obviously, yesterday, we had, like, a worky day, like, away from Amber. So today... Um, yeah, I'm taking Amber out this morning with my mum and my grandma, who just honestly adore Amber to pieces. So we're going to go to. Oh, James. Hello? I'll put some bags in the room. Oh. Bye. Thank you, boo. Bye. Love you. Bye. He put some bags in the boot. Everyone needs a husband like James. I can't cope. Because we're going to like um, Marks and Spencer, it's just like a big like supermarket if you don't know what Marks and Spencer is. Um, but it also has home stuff, clothes stuff, all of that. So we're going to have a browse around, do a little bit of a food shop. My mum and my nan will just <coughs> coo over Amber and I'll be able to look at home and clothes stuff. So it's going to be a great day. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, uh, to pick up my mum and grandma now. And James is going to do loads of boring work in the house. Okay, it is now a little bit later on. I've got my crazy plait hair going on. It's got a little wave in it. Oh, okay, that's not a wave, that's just a kink. And it'll last about two seconds because my hair's so thin that um, no hairstyles hold in my hair for more than like five seconds before going completely like that against my head. <laughs> I've just come back um, from my little trip out. I've changed straight into my absolute comfiest outfit possible. <laughs> Feeling very snug. Um, and Amber's gone, time for a nap. She slept on the way home and then also 
um, went straight down when she got back as well. Um, just because she's so, so tired. And then James has been obviously doing bits of work and stuff and he's got like a really blocked ear. He often gets like blocked ears and has issues with his ears. Um, so I've just popped his ear drops on, got his duvet down, put it on the sofa and said, put your ear drops in, lie that way so the ear drops sink in nicely and just stay there for a bit and just chill out. So he's doing that and I'm unpacking the shopping um, whilst munching on mini eggs. This is a severely dangerous section of the house now. We have caramel. If any of you guys would like some, help yourself. Caramel eggs, cream eggs, and mini eggs. Very dangerous section of the house, which I'm munching my way through. And these are the little bits that we picked up. I just got some lunch bits. I'm gonna make some lunch for us now. Some tuna, avocado, mango pieces, eggs, and then I got some tea towels. I thought I would get some more aesthetic tea towels because our other ones that we had just didn't match the kitchen. And then we got these the other day, which are like more fluffier hand towels. And I love how they kind of like look in the kitchen. So I thought these would be nice as like the thinner tea towels. Oh my gosh, my content has gotten to this stage, guys. I am sorry. I literally just explained tea towels and hand towels to you. Stay tuned. I know the vlog content is just out out of this world at the moment. I picked up these for my friend. We're going to her house later on um, and she's just moved into a new house. So I'm very excited for her. So I got her some new house flowers. And then these are the little eucalyptus bunch that I picked up, guys. I'm really excited. I'm thinking of putting them in this pot up here. I might even, I'm gonna put them in now and see if James even notices because I don't even think he's gonna notice because they're quite similar. So these are my dried eucalyptus, which were actually, oh my gosh, and they're out before I'd even move the pot. So these are my dried eucalyptus from the garden, which I do love. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually bin yet. I'm just gonna have to like, see if there's anywhere else that they'll go. But they're quite yellow. So I don't know if you can see, they're quite like a yellow, a yellowy tone, um, which is what happens I feel like with a lot of my dried eucalyptus. So we have a, a eucalyptus tree in the garden. And when I cut them, they dry out quite nicely. So this is one that I cut um, maybe like two weeks or a week ago. Yeah, two weeks ago, more than that maybe. Um, and it's drying out quite a nice like greeny color. And then over a long period of time, they turn more yellow just as they get more and more dehydrated. But I do still really like the shade of that. But I just think I needed a bit of a revamp in this corner. Oh my gosh, it looks so bare now without the eucalyptus. Also, I think these have a bit more height to them and this corner can take quite a bit of height. So yeah, I'm gonna see what they look like up there now. Hey. I've like shimmied them around, I shortened the stem because they're like stems are obviously fake, like faux stems. They're like metal and you can like bend them. So I made one stem quite a lot shorter to fill in and then kept one a bit high so it kind of reaches up a bit. Oh, okay. I'm feeling it. Let's see what it looks like. It adds enough height, that's for sure. What do you guys think? I like it. I think it looks quite similar to the other ones, just not quite as yellow, which is quite nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So it's a little bit later on now, um, Amber's still sleeping. I literally, as I pressed record on the camera, because I got her like monitor thing on, I feel like I can hear her stirring now, so she's probably gonna wake up any second. Um, but yeah, James is still lying on the sofa trying to unclog his ear, and um, I've just been pottering around the kitchen tidying. And I just put, I don't know how I feel about it guys, but we've been saying for ages that we wanted to put little hooks on the, like somewhere on the wall for tea towels because we usually keep them in this drawer and they get so like smelly and gross. So we wanted to have somewhere where we could hang them up because we now put the hand towels and stuff um, on the oven. I know we have so many out and about, um, but yeah, we wanted somewhere else to hang things. And I, I just feel like that was kind of like a really non-used space in the kitchen. So I'm quite, I'm quite liking it. I've got these little black hooks as well. I got them off Amazon. And if you just type, like if you're like me and you just like, Honestly, the thought of putting up a hook and screwing a hole into the wall just to put up a hook, I just can't. Um, so yeah, these are, I think you type in like self-adhesive hooks or like sticky stick on the wall hooks or anything. I honestly type that in for everything I can. I'm like, stick on the wall toilet roll holder, stick on the wall anything, because I just hate drilling holes in walls, especially the walls in this house. They are so incredibly hard to drill into. So yeah, I put that there and I'm quite feeling it. Anyway, I can definitely hear Amber stirring. So I'm gonna go wake her up. And then we are off to my friends to see her new house, which is exciting. And she's also got a baby, which is a couple of months younger than Amber. So Amber will get to have a little play date. Yay. Oh, hello. Are you, what are you, <laughs> what are you looking at? 
Yeah, you like that cushion, don't you? <laughs> Lots of fabrics. Lots of materials to look at. Good morning, guys. It is now the next day. James is back. Still oh, got a block deer. Still can, can't really hear anything at all. Can barely hear us. <laughs> we are off to town. We've got a few things to pick up today and we're having a little look around. Yeah. Hello. Put your Elmo blanket back here. Hello. Look at the cutest little outfit you've got on today. You've got the cutest little dungarees on you have. Hi. Hi. Do you want your Elmo blanket in front? Ada. Ada. There he is. <laughs> you went shopping? So, me and Amber have come. James has just gone to the Apple store. Me and Amber have come next door into this like baby. I don't want to show too much because there's like kids around and stuff. And I'm just in a little quiet nook at the top here. Um, but essentially, it's like a pop-up shop. If you are from Cardiff, hi, you're looking up. Do you want to get involved? Hi, baby. Um, if you're in Cardiff, it's next to the Apple store in St. David's too. Hi. Are you like taking my mask off? And then she literally puts it back on my face. Do you want to put it back on? Oh, good try. Do you want to put it back on? Oh, you usually put it back on for me. You should put it back on for me as well as take it off. So yeah, it's next to the Apple store in St. David's 2. Also, I've painted my nails, guys. I ripped off my gels. I know, we'll keep going. I ripped off my... Oh, hello. What are we looking at? How cool is this place? I was just explaining what it was. Yeah. It's a government-funded setup thing where you can just bring your kids in here and play. I'm in like a really quiet nook at the moment, so there's like not much here. But they've got like Lego pieces. They've got like light up signs we've got like a little corner here with like bean bags and stuff good vibes only i'm like avoiding people yeah i mean we're here for the baby i've signed her in but you know we could just pop her there to watch us while we play some foosball that is you know what we would do but yeah you just sign your babies in and play it's so cool we were staring at the angel wings for a while they look a lot of fun but yeah it's so cool it's a little pop-up shop who's is now just taking a call He's a busy man, guys. He's always just off on the go at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is the place. I'll pop up some photos I just took because there were quite a few kids in there and obviously I don't want to get any kids on camera. Um, so yeah, it's really good. I think obviously with babies a bit older than Amber, it would be ideal. And also I'm going to do that annoying thing again where I'm like jazzing, you know, jazzing off my nails in every shot because I peeled my gels off yesterday that I had for holiday and I've like painted my nails white. I never paint my nails guys, but after having my gels last time, I just thought, you know what? I actually loved having my nails done. I felt super classy, especially considering the fact that I'm trying to wear no makeup at the moment because it's really helping my skin. I wore it for the one day we did that, like filmed that house tour, but apart from that this week, I've not worn it like a scrap of makeup and it's been helping my skin so much. My eyelid um, is like really improved, the eczema on it. So yeah, I'm trying to wear no makeup. So I'm like trying to, you know, feel put together and, and like painting my nails and looking after my nails really helped with that. It's something so simple and kind of sounds probably quite silly to some people, but I know some of you can probably relate, like taking care, even like doing your makeup and stuff, it can feel quite self carey And yeah, so like painting my nails, I feel very, you know, put together now. So I'm going to be like, hi guys, welcome to the channel. I don't even have nice, I've got like little stubby short hands and nails, but I'm trying to love them and appreciate them a bit more because I'm too mean to my hands and nails. I always call them stubby and ugly and I just, you know, they're not, they're cute. They're petite and cute and I need to give them a bit more love. So we're passing Claire's, we're actually going to get a coffee. No, we'll get a coffee first. Okay. I'm desperate for a coffee because you have to throw mine away okay. this morning. James is waiting on hold. Oh, yeah. Um, hold. Yeah, he's waiting on hold. Oh, there he's holding on the phone. You can probably hear that. Um, but yeah, we're getting a coffee first, but I'm determined, well, I'm not determined. I'm excited to go to Claire's and pick up some bobbles. Yesterday was like the first day that I put Amber's hair in little bobbles. We went to my friend's house and she had loads of little bobbles and bows and stuff. And I put her hair in two little bunches and it melted my heart. So I was like, I need to go and get some baby bobbles and bows and stuff from Claire's. So she got hers from Claire's. So we're going to go there later, which I'm really excited about. But first, it's a coffee stop and a little shot of the nails. And there we go, and I'm going into a wall. Perfect. So we are in Krispy Kreme. Woo! I'm just having a little bit of a pouch, you know, I an easy yes, on the go pouch. What donuts? What donuts? Donuts for 10 a.m. Donuts. Oh, that would just be ridiculous, wouldn't it, Karis? Oh. So I've been on the phone to Apple. I just have a bit of a technical issue with my phone. Nothing interesting. How's your ear? My ear. It's just completely blocked. It's really annoying. I, oh. And then it randomly unblocks and I get really excited. So I'm like, oh, it's unblocking. We drive in the car, so I'm like, oh, it's unblocking, it's, and it's, it's blocked again. 
Like, and I'm so excited. This has happened a couple of times now, and yeah. it's so weird, but you speak quieter. You'd think that if your ear's blocked, like, you'd speak loud, but because you can't hear how you're speaking, yeah. you're speaking, you, like, kind of I whisper. Why. I, I think I do it because, but also, yeah, because I can't, it seems, it seems so quiet around me, I think I then talk yeah. quietly, and actually it's really noisy around me, and exactly. I just don't realise, so no You're one can like hear me. You're like matching the sound. <laughs> Oh, silly James. I think without trying to sound too dramatic, we're in my place of health. Um, Karis is looking <laughs> for baby hair bubbles. Funny thing is, I, did, I actually genuinely just didn't think you were vlogging. You I just thought, thought that, that was a general thing that you would say to me yeah. in Karis accessories. And I was going to say, I know, just give me a second. I'm just <laughs> finding... Oh, there they are. Little there baby we go. Bubbles. Okay, let's go then. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> There's fluffy backpacks, oh, there's toys, honestly, I'm in my heaven, <laughs> Last James is in his hell. This is great. Hell's a bit dramatic, but you know, we're not far off. So these are the two little things I picked up. Hey, do you like him? Would you like to hold them? Do you want to hold your new little bag? Do you want to hold your bag? There we go. Yeah, she can hardly get a bubble in her hair, it's mostly at the back. Um, so she gets two little pigtails on the back. But but the I'm thinking, you know, it's like a month now till her birthday, her first birthday. We're gonna have some pigtails for the party. To mummy, ta, thank you. Okay, so it's a little bit later on now. We are just, hello. Hi. <laughs> How? Oh, Hi there. Hi. I'm just making us some cups of tea. When are we not drinking today? My gosh, I've got a bad back today. I'm good trying to set aside. We're both gonna try and set aside a little time to do. I'm just gonna tip tap my nails here, guys. We're both gonna set aside a little time to do something in the home gym today. I am just hoping to fit in a stretching session. Like, not even gonna overthink it. Don't need to get out there for like an hour long session today. Just need to get out there to do something for my back because even a deep breath at the moment is hurting my back and it's because, I mean, there's a, a number of reasons I've got bad back and most of it stems from the fact that my boobs are big and heavy and they weigh on my shoulders and when I saw the osteopath about it, it was all very much related to the big jumbo melons that hang and, oh my gosh, they're so heavy. Um, so yeah, they put a lot of strain on my back, but then as I'm carrying Amber more, she's getting bigger, she's on my hip. This, that, nappy changes. Anyone who's got kids, you're always kind of leaning down, you'll know the drill. Yeah, it's all just kind of, oof. So I often find, well, I do find, the only thing that actually makes it better is setting aside time just to do a 10, 15 minute, shorter, five minute, two minute stretch. Just stretch it out, get into it. And yeah, hopefully that'll help. So I'm gonna try and do that a bit later on. We're currently Amber's napping. We are having some cups of tea and we are planning some content, summer adventures. We're currently thinking about summer, thinking about, you know, <coughs> well, we're really thinking about what, like, because obviously- Should I say exactly what we're thinking? Should I say? Let's be too round the hill, so. <laughs> We are thinking, I'll say it, I'll manifest it. If I say it, put it out to the universe, maybe it'll come true. No, we're thinking, we're hoping to make the most of the flexibility that we have with this job. And obviously we sort of have a ticking time bomb until, not a ticking time bomb, that's dramatic, until Amber goes to school when obviously we're gonna be a bit more, well, very much more tied down um, to like holiday times and whatever. So we were hoping to make a bit make the most of the flexibility that we have and do a bit more of a longer term stay somewhere. We're looking at France at the moment. I've just asked on my stories for like good places in France, but we're looking, this is literally the first day that we've looked into this properly because we looked into this a while ago. Um, before we had Amber, we wanted to do a road trip to France with Mila. Um, and this time again, we would want to it to be a road trip so we can take Mila because obviously we don't want to leave Mila for um, any like long amount of time so yeah we're looking for like maybe a month I don't know just putting it out there make the most of being able to go and stay somewhere and you know work we can work on the go we can work from those places we can create content around doing that and so yeah our friends often say to us 
why aren't you making the most of this more? They, they have said that to us before, make the most of it. Because we can and yet we don't. We just stay in the rainy Wales and we're like, hi guys, welcome to another vlog, making another cup of tea. Um, so yeah, we thought we'd be a bit adventurous and just really try and make the most of that. So, so yeah, that's what we're up to at the moment whilst baby girl naps. And then hopefully I'll stretch this back out a bit later on. Mm -hmm. 